Hi guys, Kotutar here and my name is Anil Deshpande. Welcome to the first video of tutorial series on notifications. Well, you have always been receiving notifications on your Android phone in one way or the other way or for one purpose or the other purpose. Now it is time for us to put a developer's hat and try to understand notifications from a developer's perspective. Well, you receive a notification in the notification area. That is a small area at the top of your screen and sometimes a notifications will actually overlap on top of your existing app that you might be working on. This is called as basically a heads up notification. This is implemented through concept of giving a priority to your notification and not only that you can also add actions to the notifications like reply and archive but these things can be only done on android 7.0 or above and once you have lot of notifications you can pull down the section from the top of your screen and this section is called as notification drawer and with the introduction of android oreo concept of badges or dots have been introduced with notifications some of these options with notifications about how they get displayed and how you basically handle them are configurable when you create the notifications. So if you think in terms of the anatomy of a notification, you typically use two types of images for small icon and large icon. You don't always use large icon as per the Android UI guidelines. You use them only if you want to show some kind of a person's image in a chat application and then you have title and the description and as per the notification framework it will always show the app name and you may or may not decide to show the timestamp as we move along we will be actually creating a notification based on these concepts but other than that you need to be aware of concept of channel id which has been introduced in android 8.0 developers call it as channel id but from the end users perspective these are called as notification categories so let's have a look at how they actually look from the end users perspective so what you are looking at now is Android 7.0 emulator and on this if you go to any apps notification settings you will see that there are options like blocking all the notifications show them silently or override do not disturb you can actually access these notifications even from the notification itself when they actually come what do I mean by that is this is an app that I have created on click of this particular button a notification will get triggered don't worry I will be showing you how to do all of those things but as of now when I click on it it will basically show all the options about the notifications here itself and you can actually click on more settings and go to that particular screen that I was showing you earlier but if we see exactly the same application in Oreo you will see a difference in how they look so let me open the settings of Gmail and you can see that here what you are actually seeing is different kind of notification categories which you can enable and disable. So basically what you have here is a notification for miscellaneous categories, attachments. So basically what will happen is you can select on what kind of categories you are willing to receive the notification. So what we are calling here as notification categories, programmatically we will be calling them as notification channels. So if you go back to the same application which we had executed on Android 7.0, Oh, you will now see the difference in how notification channel IDs can be accessed here as categories. So on long click of it, you can see that news is actually a channel ID or the category that I have defined when I implemented this particular application. And you can actually have multiple categories like news, sales, new product launch and enable or disable notifications for those categories. And we will be looking at how channel IDs are set. So this video was 
all about familiarizing you with various terminologies that you will come across when we get started with implementing the notifications. In the next video, you will actually see some hands-on. So stay tuned. That brings us to the end of this particular video. Don't forget to like, comment, share the video and subscribe to the channel. Take care. Bye.